Okay, I'm back again. Here's the sticks. Paradise Theater. Sticks, Paradise Theater. Good album. I recommend it. Oops. <laughs> anyway, here's the sticks, the Grand Illusion. Here, I'll get a shot, zoom in on the playlist here on side one. Grand Illusion, Fooling Yourself, Superstars, Come Sail Away. Oh. Side two. Sticks, Kilroy was here. It has Mr. Roboto on it. Mr. Roboto, Cold War, Don't Let It In, High Time. Uh, side 2, Heavy Metal Poisoning. Just Get Through the Night, or This Night. Double Life. Haven't We Been Here Before? Don't Let It In, Reprise. Up next, the Bee Gees Live. It's a good album. Two record set. I'll zoom in. Side three. Side four. Okay, that's it for the BG's Live. BG's Gold, Volume One. Another good album. Excuse me. Here's another good album. I've had this for about 18 years. 17 years. Something like that. A little story on this one. That's right. It's time for me to tell a story. Oh. Uh. Scorpions Worldwide Live. This was a flea market find. I said it's a two record set. It's got some good tunes on it, including the zoo. Good tune. I'll zoom in, you guys can get a look at the playlist. Anyway, there's a uh, story here. 
This is a flea market find. When I got this, I forget how much I paid for it. It wasn't very much. A couple bucks for it. But, when I got this, it was still sealed. It was still brand new. It had the original price tag on it. Brand new price tag when I got it. <clears throat> At the time, my turntable was not really reliable. So, you know, I couldn't find it on CD anywhere or even on cassette. But I had a vinyl copy. I had a tape deck. I still have the recording that I recorded off of this. Way back. Um, I recorded this. Or I mean, I took it out of the... I opened it up, actually. Opened it up. Okay actually opened it up and played it long enough to transfer it to cassette put it back away hadn't played this album till two or three months ago well, that's a heck of a time frame from not being played so this album has only been played like two or three times. That's it. As I said, when I got the album, it was brand new, still sealed in the cellophane. With the original um, price tag still on it. From when whoever bought it brand new. Um, like I said, I de-virginized it way back to record it onto cassette and put it away. Never played it since. I've always played the cassette version. Now, like I said, I've played the cassette version numerous times. I still have the recorded cassette version recorded from this album uh, still sounds good today as it did 17 years ago when it was recorded reason being analog recorded a little bit on the warm side Still sounds good 17 years later. Go figure. Uh, you try to record a digital recording warm, too hot, sounds like crap. Do that to an analog recording on a cassette. Wow. It just a recording of love. Uh, your cassettes will play for years to come as long as they're recorded hot. I mean not too hot, but you know like the upper range of warm uh, yeah the upper range of warm to the lower range of hot you don't want it real hot reason being as the cassettes age over time they start losing their sound quality but if you record your recordings hot you know warm warmish hot years down the road they'll sound good because 
they're just now starting to, you know, lose quality down to where it'd sound normal to you. But, yeah, I just wanted to tell that little story on this album. Um, like I said, I've, it's, this record's only been played, or this album's only been played two or three times since I got it. That's it. That is it. Hard to believe, huh? Alright, that's it for this segment. See me.